Welcome back. You're watching Australian Agenda, where we've seen this morning analysis of the YouTube posting of Kevin Rudd's ranting and swearing uh, by who we are not sure, but the speculation is that it's come out of the department from the bureaucracy rather than from a political staffer. This will continue to unfold, no doubt. We've then had David Spears' exclusive interview with the former Prime Minister out of Brisbane, where he spoke to him just before midnight last night about uh, how he felt about this. There was a bit of a mea culpa there about some of the language, the suggestion that he has learnt a thing or two since then, which certainly implies an interest and a want to return to the top job. But nonetheless, when asked directly about it by David Spears, he's still running the line that he's happy being Foreign Minister as things stand. And here on Australian Agenda, we interviewed Andrew Wilkie, who made it clear that he would prefer a Kevin Rudd Prime Ministership to a Julia Gillard Prime Ministership. He may not formalise that with an alliance, but that is the way he's heading. And extraordinarily, in November last year, he had a 90-minute meeting with Kevin Rudd in which he made it... Kevin Rudd, that is, made it clear that he was basically interested in a comeback and he was talking about those particulars to Andrew Wilkie. That is sure to fire up the supporters of Julia Gillard. To analyse these events and where we're at now, I'm still joined here by the Daily Telegraph's (laughs) political editor... Simon Benson. Simon, we've also had on another program Tanya Plibersek uh, running the sort of lines that you would expect to try to suggest that on the one hand uh, she's done worse apparently than Kevin Rudd in terms of some of her commentary and and, uh, and so forth when the camera's not rolling. I know that here on Sky News we won't name names but we've had <laughs> plenty of politicians have a crack during breaks when there's been problems here, there or whatever. But uh, where do you see this? I mean you have been writing for a long time now that a Kevin Rudd comeback was on the cards. Uh, some people have backed you on that. Many have have been critical. Uh, where are you seeing this now? Well, I actually have to uh, thank Andrew Wilkie for at least confirming what I was writing last November. As you say, a lot of people didn't believe it back then. Uh, and uh, it was always true that, uh, that he had ambitions too. I don't think that's any secret. But uh, uh, he's really belled the cat on it now. Uh, uh, it's going to happen, and, it, and I think it's going to happen very soon. Um, you raised an interesting point before, that... Uh, that admission in itself is probably uh, enough for Julia Gillard to uh, cite him with uh, some sort of betrayal and, and shooting, but it's not really going to matter anymore. Do you think she'll do that, though? Do you think no, that she I will uh, so. call him on this and sack him? No, I don't think so. Uh, I think what we saw in Parliament last week was that, that the troops were deployed to to, uh, to tell the caucus MPs to stick with her. Uh, that in itself suggests that they, they're panicking, as Dennis even mentioned earlier. Uh, but I don't think there's anything she can do about it apart from try and shore up support. And the next week is going to be a battle uh, for the hearts and minds of those who are wavering. Um, Kevin Rudd's away uh, overseas, not back till next week. 